Okay, going to show you two quick ways to play timber. Um, the first way, without the cabo, we're going to make it real simple here. It's only four chords, but it may be a little difficult if you're not used to barring chords. That's why I would suggest playing it with the cabo if, if, if the way you're going to play it. So, we're going to start with a G sharp minor to B to F sharp to E. That's G sharp minor to B to F sharp to E. And basically the strumming pattern doing is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And the song is definitely a lot faster though. Now, if you're going to use the capo, we're going to put it on the 4th fret. So if you put the capo on the 4th fret, um, we're going to make the shapes E minor to G to D to C. Again, it's E minor. Again, I'm using sort of the same strumming pattern. You can play whatever you want there, but it's going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so here's what you could do if you want to make it a little bit more rhythmic here. Um, you can play the chords, and you're going to basically create this percussive sound on the two and the four beats. So I'm going down, up, up, 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 down, up. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm muting the strings on the two and the four, and I'm letting the hand basically mute the strings. I'm, I'm not playing through. I'm just creating this sort of percussive feel here. Now I'm not playing with a pick, but if you have a pick, you're just raking that pick across the strings. In this case here I'm I'm using my fingernail. Okay? So it's down, up, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, 